thunderstorms. Rain and thunderstorm. Does anyone remember my crappy incubator, the one that I bought and it failed on me twice and at the end it just burst? Rubbish product. I paid about 25 pounds for this, British pounds. Now, I bought the real thing. That's like 10 kilos, but this will guarantee us some good results. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Let's turn this thing off. Shut it down. And let this let's get this baby on. Let's unpackage it together. See what we can find in there. I hope it's worth it because I paid a good amount of money for this. It's nearly about 85 pounds, English pounds, British pounds. Hopefully. It would be better than the previous one. It certainly looks the part, as they say. What is that? It's like almost like a cow incubator. My goodness. Whoa, that is big. That is a massive incubator. I thought it might be just some packaging, but the actual thing is smaller, but it's actually, it has taken the whole size of the box. This is a big incubator. It's almost like industrial scale incubation. Oh my god, what is going on here? Can't even get it out. How do you even... Wow, oh, there is a handle. There you go. They have thought about it. There is a handle here. Look at that. How many eggs can you put here? Like a hundred? Almost like a thousand eggs in here. Now, look at this and look at the size of an egg. <laughs> How many eggs can you incubate in this massive thing? Almost like a thousand eggs, isn't it? This is meant for the dinosaur eggs. But why make it so big? Why make it something huge like that? Oh Here is the brand, it's called Incubation Specialist. There it is. It's heavy, it's big, wow, there's a fan in here, what, there are some items in there, look, there's an item inside, there's a bag in here, how am I going to get this bag out, there is a bag stuck in here, it's got like a switch and stuff, that was the first part, here is the second part, it's got the, the wire, this is the wire. Let me bring the camera a bit closer so you can actually get a better look at it. So we've got a squeezy bottle. I don't know what that's for. Probably to add some water. Oh, and here's the mechanism. Probably I connect that to the top. Probably this is gonna stop. There is, a, there is something broken underneath here, is that? Here we go. Taking it out. There's another one as well. I am so confused. So let's see how many eggs we can put in here. Let's have a look. Quail eggs. You can put 20 goose eggs. 20 goose eggs. 34 duck eggs. Nearly 40 chicken eggs. 120 pigeon eggs. And 130 quail eggs. I think that's a divider, you can divide it. 
Oh yeah. So look, look at the size comparison. The whole box with its content can go into one quarter of this. So I've uh, plugged it in now and I've just noticed something. It's a very odd place to put it in. I don't know who designed that but it should be on the side or something. Come Aki, have a look. Hi guys. Here it is. Whoa, that is loud. That is loud. Let's That's see if a big can. incubator body. Can it turn now? How do you make it turn? Does it turn automatically? Yeah, take it easy so you don't burn it, Marius. This is one of the motor. I think it turns automatically every 20 minutes or so, every two hours, I don't know. Is it a big, Marius? It is massive. our use. It's very big. How are we going to see if it actually if it turns the eggs? I want to put it into a test. So I've been reading the instruction manual, which is a bit useless, to be honest. So what happens is, every half an hour, this motor should turn the eggs automatically. I believe that this is the motor tank. This one right here. The only problem is there are some holes in it. So I will try not to fill it all the way up. This is what I came up with. It's a, a little plastic uh, dish and I've got a double-sided tape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put that here so just to keep it from moving about and then I'll stick that to the bottom of the tray. So I'm gonna remove this other side and then I'm just gonna stick it here. Hopefully that will stop it from moving. There we go. It's right here in the center and now I can top it up as much as I want without having to fill this whole thing. We add the tray first, just like this. And then we add our egg, egg turning device, which I haven't seen in action yet. So this one here, the one marked with an X, it, it broke on me. Actually no, this I received broken. This one I received broken, just on the side here. It's got a little dent. I don't know if you can see it. This one is the second one that I broke myself. It fell on the ground and the shell is cracked. But it's still a good experiment to see if it's gonna... Let's put it right here at the back. These were heated for about three hours and then the machine broke, so it'll be a good experiment to see is it after three hours of warming, are they still alive? Are they, can, can they still grow? This was my cutest, it was the most round egg. I hope it's still... Ah, uh, it's not gonna work because I can, I can see that it's moving about. These are all experimental. Now these are hopefully the healthy ones. These are the healthy eggs that I haven't tried. So I'm gonna add all of them now since I've got this massive machine. A, here is A. A is very pointy, very pointy egg. So I'm gonna write A. B is also pointy but it's a bit fatter and it's got all these lovely colorations to it and then we can see if the color of the eggshell determines the color of the chick itself D is a matte finish, it's a very matte finish and it's almost brownish E is the darkest it's almost grey, brownish color F is small, very prickly it's got points and finally, this is very pointy it's got a white base and a pointy top and I'm gonna call that G A, B, C, D, E, F, G and then we have 1X, 2X, 3X these are the ones that were already incubated and then we have the broken ones X, X1 and X, X2 I'm so excited about TV I am so excited here we go Ooh, the last piece. It's almost like a jigsaw puzzle. Right. Now you can change if you want to make it Fahrenheit or Celsius, but I think I'm used to Celsius. Over here. Just like so. Can you believe that I'm having to assemble a whole table just for that incubator. 